fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 30th of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well and managing to keep cool. The air conditioning is on here in Bangkok. The sun is out and I was just ready to for a great swim. I thought, oh good, sun is out, it's lovely. It's just early afternoon, just after, not long after lunchtime here. And I thought, perfect time to, for a dip. So off I went to the market where the local pool is and when i got there they said closed for cleaning ah, so i'm back again now this has given me the opportunity to work on my admin stuff that i'm putting off and putting off as much as possible and am i doing my admin stuff no i'm playing sudoku with you <laughs> so i really hate i'll do anything i can to avoid doing admin <laughs> so i'll play a game of sudoku with you instead let's do that uh in the uk uh, they are still waiting for their um, budget uh, to be um, completely unveiled. But the Guardian is revealing some of the, a uh, couple of the points that are going to be in it. Uh, they, they're uh, raising the level of the minimum wage by about 6.7%, something like that. Tinkering at the edges. Uh, nothing mentioned about tax increases for the super rich. That's something that needs to happen. Uh, the disparity in pay is so beyond the pale right now, uh, really. Um, the whole country would breathe a sigh of relief if if, if, the, if something was done about this, uh, this pay disparity, the wealth disparity, rather, in the country. Um, uh, but I believe that Labour are not going to touch taxes. <sighs> Let's hope there's some announcements about closing tax loopholes. Though. I mean, the, the worst thing is that those huge corporations that pay almost no tax, and in some cases no tax, um, because they can avoid stuff through loopholes, that's more important probably than everything and anything else is actually closing those loopholes and making sure that corporate, huge corporations pay proper amounts of tax. Um, and also rich people who avail themselves of very tricky accountants face the same uh, force. Um, because that's the point, isn't it? If you, can, you can cheat your way around the system if you're rich enough. All right, shall we get on with the game of Sudoku then? This is the LA Times expert level puzzle. Earlier than expected, as I said, because no swimming today. Three blocking across like this. That's going to give me a three in this square here. Oh, I forgot to mention. Los Angeles Times. Hard level, expert level Sudoku puzzle. Got to say it a few times so I can build up the algorithm, which never promotes any of my videos. Uh, uh, seven across here in this Los Angeles Times expert level Sudoku puzzle. It's going to put seven into one of these two squares here, blocking back here, and seven up there will give me seven in that square there. Uh, anybody that watches the channel regularly, do me a favor. Please make sure you are subscribed and hit the like button as well that helps a lot and give a comment even if it's just i hate your commentary or no don't do that that's <laughs> that's very depressing uh, but just you know anything you want to say ask a question if you like uh, whatever and uh, that might hopefully build up the channel slightly So we do have a pair of one blocking up like this. So that puts one in those squares. And we've got threes blocking to the edge there. So we have one and three in those squares. So we are left here without one or three. So it's going to be two, four, six, seven. And all that gets me is a seven in those squares there. But the two, four, and the six, I have not got any idea about right now shall we examine across here just in case i don't think it'd be likely but anyway let's see we've got one and three so we're looking for four five six eight we've got six and eight there the fours and the fives no news just yet Never mind, we've got a six blocking this square here, so we'll find a six there. And this is going to be a four, I believe. Six, one, 
six, nine. Okay, we've got nine blocking across here. Puts nine into one of those two squares coming back here and down there. There's a nine. Five blocking across here. Here is our five. And the remaining digits here are two and six. We've got two from down under. Gives the two there. And the six will go here. We've got 8 blocking these 3 squares and 8 blocking this square, so that's going to be an 8 up there. Uh, 3 blocks this square, or rather let's just look, do it like this, 3 blocking down here, down here, across here, 3 is in, oh we've got 3 blocking down here and 3 across there, I was about to say 3 is in one of those 2 squares, in fact it's even better than that, I've localised it to a single cube, a single um, cell I should say. We have 8 blocking up here, there's our 8. Remaining digits here are 4 and 9, I think, 9 across there, there's our 9, there's our 4. Shall we just look at this column just in case there's something beautiful? Uh, we're looking for 1, 2, 5. We've got 5 blocking here and 5 blocking here. So there's our 5, we're left with 1 and 2 in those squares. Five blocks this square. We need a five in this row. It's got to go there. And the last digit here is six. So what do we know about sixes? They're like this. Uh, not sure about over here though. Or up there. Okay, missing numbers along the bottom are 4, 5 and 6. We've got 5 and 6 in the same column. That then will be our 4. 4 blocking up here and across there gives us 4 in that square. The last number here is 7. 7 to the top up here and across there there's another 7. That's the final digit 7 actually.
Uh, I think I might just wander around the clock because there might be something obvious. I, I do know that I've got one and nine in this row up here. If that means anything, I don't know, but just saying something that I know. Seven is our completed digit at the moment. Okay, I was off investigating something there, but it didn't work, but never mind, we've got something equally good here. Here's a five. We're left with fives in these squares. Try to hold that thought for me, because my memory is so poor, I'm probably going to forget it. Ah, okay, so I've got something, but I can't quite... Um, tell you what it is. I've got six blocking down here and across here right like this. So I've got six in one of these two squares here. So that means six blocks these two squares here and four blocks these two squares here and eight blocks these two squares here. So six, two, four and eight are going to... Oh no, not two. Six, four and eight. Sorry. I'm talking about two. Six, four and eight are going to be in these squares. I know eights are there. I uh, can't say which is the 6 and the 4, but I, anyway, there's 6, 4, and 8 in those three squares, which means that these are not 6, 4, or 8. They have to be 1 and 3. Oh, yeah, I worked that out at the beginning, didn't I? <laughs> Newcomers to the channel, welcome. You're going to find lots of idiotic stuff like that, because I already worked out at the beginning that was 1 and 3, and I, it, I told you I have a very poor memory. It completely dropped from my mind that I'd worked out that that was a one and three at the beginning <laughs> all right well, what's left to go let's have another look at this two four six so we've got fours there uh, oh okay we've got two we've got four and six blocking up here so we can get ourselves a two there <laughs> oh dear all right so now I've got something over here because I'm pretty sure that I got one one blocking this square and this square right so one's up in those two squares we've got two blocking across here and across here and we've got nine okay so this is one two nine one and two are in that column that's a nine and we're left with one and two here and so this has to be four and six and we don't have any clues down there but anyway this is uh, one and two so this is also going to be four or six and down here we've got six blocking this square so that's our six and this is going to be our four four across here there's the four here is an eight no criticism of me in the comment section for forgetting stuff because i i just i just can't help it uh missing digit here is the uh blah, 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 blah. what is it four and this is the six Okay, and so this is going to be the four, isn't it? Well, I forgot what I said now. This was one and two, yeah, so that's going to be a four. Okay. And then uh, four this way, this way, there's our four. And this is our six, and this is our six down there. Right. Uh, four and seven are our completed digits.
8 blocks this square here so in this column there's our 8 the last number for this column is a 2 let's see what we can do now Two blocking down here gives us two in that square, and this is going to be a three. Three back up there puts a three in that square. This is a one. Missing numbers down here are f no, they're not that. They are eight and nine. We've got the eight blocking across here, so here's the eight. That's got to be a nine then. So nine across here, across here, and down there says so this is a nine. Uh, two blocks this square. I know this was a one or a two, so I know now that that's going to be the two. That's going to be the one. And one blocking across here for our one up here. The missing number there is a five. Five across here for a five there. This is going to be. So this has been another easy game, right? All all the games have been easy today. You know, I've had quite a lot of time. I only have some work to do in the evening, and so I've not really been, you know, in a hurry today, but. Actually, it's, I guess that's uh, life often goes like that, right? When you're in a try to get the game done quickly, uh, you 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 you're uh, you're on limited time, and when you've got more uh, leisure time to spare, the game is easy. All right, take care. Bye bye.